Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create an Eagle avatar, an Eagle main avatar or NPC in your Unreal Engine game project. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. Now, first you must have the Icon 7. In your Icon 7, you go to your avatar here. You should be able to find a folder that is named Animal World Volume 5. The fierce animals, you can see an eagle is there. In your Icon 7, you must make sure that you already have the Icon and Real Life link that already installed. And make sure you untick everything and only tick the eagle. In your Unreal Engine project, you must make sure you already install the Icon and Real Life link at there. Alright, if you still don't know how to set up the Icon and Real Life link, I already created a tutorial. You just need to scroll down, go to my video descriptions. I already put the tutorial link at there. Alright, so for this moment, you must make sure everything is ready. Then you can just go to go to the icon and then you transfer this eagle to Unreal Engine first. Make sure you take it and click transfer. In your Unreal Engine, you just need to wait for a while. It is transferring. It takes a few seconds. Once it finishes already, it will be automatic inside of the content. Real Illusion content. The Eagle. You can see a skeleton mesh is here. But we are not going to use this. We transfer by using the icon and real life link just to get to get the textures. This is the material instance that we want to use later. So remember we don't want to use this skeleton mesh. Next step, you back to the content, create a folder named animals. And then you create another new folder inside the animal folder, name it as eagle. 01 next double click in and be standby here next next make sure you already open your icon 3d exchange 7 and in your icon 7 here you click edit in 3d exchange it will import into the 3d exchange and you back to the icon you go back to the content folder and then click here this is the, mo the motion you should be able to, to find the motion file from here. Under the motions, Animal World Volume 5, the Eagle. You right click one of them, click Find File, it will open by using the File Explorer. Next. You go back to the 3D Exchange 7 here, you select everything, drag and drop into the motion library at the, at the right hand side here. You should be able to find it at the right hand side, the motion library. After that, you click add all to perform. Now, next we are going to export it out as FBX file. And close this. Right here, you open a new folder on your desktop here. Name it as Eagle01. Double click in. At this moment, in your 3D exchange here, you export as FBX file. The target tool preset, you choose Unreal Engine. And then, to include the geometry only, you untick here. We only want to include the geometry for the first time. The file name, you name it as Eagle01. And you copy the file destination here, the folder destination, Control c to copy, and you paste it here, the destination, Control v Enter. Next, you click OK. It will export as eagle01.fbx. Next, you export again the FBX file. Untick the include geometry and you tick include the animation. Save one take profile. The file name, you must name it as eagle01. Next, the destination is already correct. You click OK. And click OK. 
Now you can see all of this, all of this animation already successfully exported. At this, at this moment, you can import it into your Unreal Engine. In your Unreal Engine here, the Eagle 01 folder is already standby. You back to your Eagle 01 folder here. First, you import the skeletal mesh, the Eagle 01. Then, set here, you click OK. Animated time, you click OK. And wait for a while. Now, it finished. Imported already. You can close the message lock. And you need to wait for a while until all the texture that you can see. Now you can see all the texture are completed. You double click in the skeletal mesh of this eagle. And you can see actually the texture have, have some problem. That's why we need to change that here. Make it become the material instance here. You must select the same, same name and make it a trial instance, the material instance. Now everything done and ready. Next, what we are going to do is import the animation. You close this, you save, you close. Under the Eagle 01, you create a new folder here. Name it as animation. All right, now we want to import all the animations, the FBX file here, Eagle, Eagle 01 attack, all of this. We drag into here. And now, the skeleton, you must choose the Eagle 01 skeleton. The animation length, you must choose animated time. And then you click import all. And at this moment, you just need to wait for a while until it finish import everything. After you finish transfer everything, now you can see the message log is pop out. You can just close it. And all of the animations are here. You can double check it. Double click one by one and you can see these are the eagles animation. The eagle standing. The eagle standing. So next we are going to make this eagle to be become the main avatar or the NPC. The first thing what you need to do is back to the Eagle 01 folder, double click the Eagle 01 skeleton. And here you must make sure select the rig, change it to become the humanoid. This is the retarget manager. If you can't see the retarget manager, you have to click here. The retarget manager, select the humanoid rig, and then click save, close. Next, what you are going to do is back to the content folder, enter the mannequin folder, go to the character, mesh, double click the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin skeleton. And you also need to open your retarget manager and make sure you make the mannequin to become the humanoid rig. Next, click save, close. Then you go back to the character. Back to the mannequin folder, double click the animations. You should be able to see a third person animation blueprint. Right click it, retarget, retarget. Here you should choose the Eagle 01 skeleton. Next, you click retarget. At this moment, you can see immediately it will back to the content folder. All of this. The first thing what you need to do is you rename the third person animation blueprint here. You press F2 and click add at the behind, you add an underscore eagle 01, enter. Next, you, you double click and open the third person either run, double click in, and then the first one is the either, you are going to set it as, wait, the eagle 01 either standing. You drag this and replace with the first dot, release your mouse, the next one is, you are going to change it to Eagle 01 flat, put it here. The next one, the final one, you still can put the 
the eagle zero one flat, or you can just put it as glide. All right, we can just test one by one later. Now you stay first and close. Next, you go back to the content folder here. Remember to open this. You can see your eagle zero one animation is here. Click the first ones, hold the shift key, click the last ones. You drag everything into the animation folder, this one, and move it there. Next, go into the top person blueprint. We want to make this eagle to become the main avatar. Okay, this one I can press delete. All right. Now add here. Go into the third person blueprint. It's under the content folder, third person blueprint. Go into the blueprint folder. You should be able to see a third person character. You right click and duplicate. Then you rename it as, you add an, add an underscore, eagle. 01, enter. Now you double click it, click the mesh, click the viewport. The skeleton mesh, you are going to change it to become, become what? The eagle, the eagle 01. Next, what else? The animation class, you have to change it to become the third person animation blueprint eagle 01. Now, you can click compile and close it. Next, you go to the edit, project setting, maps and modes, under the selected game modes, the default pawn class, this is the main avatar, you change it to become third person, character, eagle, zero ones. Next, it will automatic save, now you close it and play. You try to test play, before that you need to delete this mana queen. All right, next, you can try to test play now. See? Now, this is the eagle. If you jump, Now, it really can fly. Of course, just now, had you still, still remember, there's another animation right there, the Eagle 01 animation. Under the animations, you go to check the third person either runs. You can see this is the speed at, at the beginning. It's either with zero speed. And here, you are flapping and finally gliding. This is high speed. So, of course, Of course, you, you can replace this as flapping as well. And where is that? Flapping. This one. You replace it so everything will be flat. So now, save and try to play test again. It is up to you to adjust. It depends on you. Play again. Now, see? It's flying. If I jump, all right, now. If I jump from here, we glide. All right, the default will be flapping and I suddenly jump. All right. If you don't want this, you also can change, change it back to make, to make this become glide. It depends on you, maybe you feel better to glide. Glide, apply, save, close. Now play, you will keep on gliding, okay this is jumping, All right, so I will get used to flat, so if I use the flapping, I better so that I can see the animation clearer. Okay, when jump from here, then we glide. Jump. All 
All right. That is how, how are we going to set and create an eagle avatar? How are we going to create an eagle avatar like this? And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy, happy animation and game developing. See you.